guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today's tutorial is called Glitter Trail Effect. And I'm going to be using glitter to make this cool little effect on this little girl here. Okay, so I was asked by someone to show more glittery type effects, or tutorials rather. So I figured, why not do this one? It's pretty awesome, and I know you're going to like it. So I started off with this photo of the little girl here. Um, you can use your own photo, it doesn't matter. I made a new layer above her, layer 2. You can name that if you want, but I'm not going to. And then I'm using this brush here that I made earlier. Um, you can download the brush in the description below. I'll provide that for you. Or if you want to make your own, that's cool too. Uh, so yeah, I did that one there. I selected it. And then you're going to go over here to the brush preset tools, which is on the right side up here, that little button there. You're going to open this, and you're going to select on here. First go to shape dynamics, and on the shape dynamics you want to make it fade in with the 25 25 and then you're good there then you're gonna click on scatter and change up to three for the count and 110 for the scattering thingy yeah okay and then you can change your px size of your brush if you need to that doesn't really matter um and then for the spacing make it 50 percent okay once you have your brush to your liking then you're going to make your scatter all the way across just like that awesome now, it looks cool now, but we're going to make it even better. So with that done, on your first layer, layer 2, you're going to duplicate that to make layer th 2 copy. Yep. Copy, right there. Okay, with layer 2 copy, you're going to go up to your uh, filter, and you're going to select blur. You're going to add a Gaussian blur of 4.0. So put 4.0, and then click OK, and that's what it looks like right now. Okay, now we're going to, again, duplicate that, layer 2 copy. And with the blurred, and then you're going to make it into an inner sh inner glow, or outer glow, sorry. And with the outer glow settings, change the opacity to 60%. And then you're going to select a random color um, from your image. I'm using the eyedropper tool to select like a pink color. Um, but your photo may have like a white or yellow or reds or whatever. Just select a color that's from your image like that. Uh, I'm going to use this one here instead. Okay, so I think I'm good there. Look at that. How awesome is that? But we're not done yet. I'm going to make it even better. So, I went down here to the original layer, layer 1, which was the girl layer. And I duplicated her layer to make layer 1 copy. Then I went up here and added a Gaussian Blur again with the same settings of 4.0. Yep, right there. Gaussian Blur 4.0. And then I just went and changed the layer to overlay. And I got this really awesome effect. Look at that. Oh, that is chill. That is so awesome, guys. Well, that's the effect. Hope you liked it. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, comment and like. And subscribe.